Um, uh, but I, we, we're about to renew our lease, um, in our apartment, and I'm gonna actually redo every room, because if we're here for another year, I'm gonna actually set up a better filming studio for myself, um, because I have lights, I have tripods, I've got cameras, I've got everything I need, except for the willpower, and, um, yeah. So, that's, that's exciting. But, yeah. But I got a couple of concepts. I got a couple of things I want to do. I'm gonna make stupid stuff. I'm gonna make fun stuff. I'm gonna make good stuff. And then I'm gonna keep streaming because my growth has been explosive this year. And I like streaming a hell of a lot because it's fun to play video games and talk while doing it. Uh, and I think you guys, uh, most of you guys in here, uh, in enjoy my content. I think everybody in here enjoys my content at least a little bit because then you wouldn't be sitting in here. But, yeah, you know? What is back here? Is this like another entrance? Oh, thank God. Okay. Cool. Let's do this. But no, it's gonna it's gonna be a very. I basically have four and a half months until the new year. We're gonna re-sign a lease, so basically we're gonna be in here until October 2018, mid October 2018. And what can I accomplish in one year, media creation wise? Like, I don't get me wrong. I'm I'm applying at many jobs um, around this area about you know media creation and and whatever best of nesdu compilation you've heard i am starting to record my streams now um i did a little bit and then i stopped and now i'm doing it again because i do want to have um that footage available and i've got enough hard drive space i'm gonna start recording them and marking them and doing all that fun stuff um so that's exciting but yeah no it's, it's gonna be more detailed than that but i'm really i really miss editing Editing is one of my favorite things to do video-wise, and I never fucking edit again. You have some good clips. I have some great clips saved. I, I went through my clips last night, and I've got a, a lot of really good ones. It's quite funny. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a decently funny dude reacting to things, it turns out. Like, not tooting my own horn or anything like that. Um, what the hell was that? I don't even know. Just, just ignore me. Actually, it's probably easier just to shoot you, right? Yeah. No, no. I'm spooked. Too scary. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. How you doing, Crunchy Muffin? Welcome, welcome. Every time somebody says "dude," I just see the stupid doom, the 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 hell spawn thing with the fucking with the fucking trumpet. Oh, Ooh, this looks like a. Alright, I guess not mini boss, but that's fine. I can't break these yet. Right? No? Okay. So apparently, City, City of Tears is actually like not a whole lot of save points. Kind of a pain in the ass. I need to find something to, to break down the wall here, break down the, the barrier. I'm sure I'll get something. Every well, time in this game you see something like, like out this, there, level, like weird, like, you, you know, usually you're gonna get. Oh, I guess it's Yeah, like a, like a weird game. You're about type. to get things to make everything better. Oh, that looks suspicious. What's up here? <sighs> An attic. What's in the attic? I don't know. A chair? A couple of creeper chairs? And then we have the. Ooh, okay. Why are there so many guys here? Ow. Sorry. Wrong button. That was that was doubly hidden. This, by the way. Ooh, spell twister. What is a spell twist? Oops, wrong button. What is a spell twister? The doo doo. Hi. The desires of Soul Thanks for coming on down. I'm not quite sure what's working or not. Um, I'm sure it's kind of dirty. I have an invisible guest with me today. Dan. Hi. Dan's pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear me, but hi, if you can. Yeah, I need to like open up chat. We're watching Nesty play Hollow Knight and talking about it. I don't know if you can, if you're supposed to do that on Twitch. I don't think it's disrespectful. Thanks for watching Nest Dude. Uh, with us. Follow his channel. I don't know. He's pretty cool. But we host them all the time, okay, and so uh, I don't even know if we're actually on, but that's that's not what's important. Way. Let's have a look at that chat. Oh, Maybe. Wait, I have one right here. This is basically full health, full armor. This is but yeah, never, so this guy is just one of our, like, one of our yeah. friends who's been this watching is, is boss fight? the channel for a while. He's a, he's an old-time user that we just, we just recognize and know, and... Oh, 
uh, he started streaming uh, right after us. You know, probably done stuff with media before. His presentation is pretty clean. Uh, and he has fun playing games, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of, like, a lot of the friends that we made on our Discord and on, twi on Twitch here. You know, sometimes go and visit here. Like, I bet somewhere in the user list we'll find one person that hangs out on on this stream. Wait, that's us. Okay. Oh, I hate that move. I don't know. I've seen Fallen Star around, but I don't know. I don't know Twitch really well, like as a as like a landscape, right? Like I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, how to master the Twitch stream? Oh, well, just the. It's not the. It doesn't have the same look to it as YouTube. Like, yeah, there are YouTubers that. I'm gonna have to stop listening to myself here for a second. <laughs> yeah, there are YouTubers that that have come to Twitch, but. You know, the only great out of Twitch folks that I'm familiar with are all like SGDQ and AGDQ and mm. that's just some memorable names through me chasing down what are, what are speedrunners doing now? Like, you know, what was before Twin Galaxies, right? <laughs> Walter Day saved the day. Because <laughs> no one wanted ever to do his job except him. So whenever you needed help, you just call Walter Day and he'd be over there and to be in your documentary. <laughs> Or look at your asteroids high, high score on a VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> is it so? Is it yeah? It's something. Somebody is holding it up right now. Like how many times has this thing like been right? <laughs> like, <laughs> why is it having? It's de being DDoS protected. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah I don't. By Cloudflare, that. that means it's being probably hit by people. Because people are mad because they got the high score in Centipede, not Dave. <laughs> Dave's a liar. <laughs> I looked at his VHS tape and it was a little wrinkle in the tape. <laughs> he needs to be disqualified. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like game high scores that are kept on a huge scale, right? It's like the biggest golf course yeah. right, <laughs> that there is. Like, oh, remember level five of Mario 3? Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, five, I'm, I'm two. Yeah, he can do it in 14 seconds, single segment. Like, that's insane. <laughs> That's that competitiveness that that is inherent in people, man. They yeah. just they really are competitive. Anyway, let's. I, I really do need to chat. But hey, people are here. Cool. What's going on? I don't know. Tomaki as ha M has arrived, and Dapper Devnol. That's you. Wait, is that you? Are you no. Dapper Devnol? No, I'm Prozax. Oh. Yeah. Prozax. For those that recognize this guy, or at least his voice. I imagine nobody's actually seen him. Yeah, I'm from New Jersey, so you'll probably hear that <laughs> come out a lot. Excellent. So I actually hear you. So what do you know about Neuron? Tell me about this. I just know that it's Jake's VR project, yeah. and he's working with a friend of mine on it. Okay. And I think it's Oh, I thought you were awesome. the guy. I am not the guy. You are not the guy. I need to... Okay. I'm not the guy that's doing any programming or artwork or anything like that. I just contributed to the, uh, the oh, project okay, okay. via the Kickstarter. To support it, so I'm not that cool, but that's cool because <laughs> then that means I don't got to worry about people talking to me and stuff. You yeah, know? good benefit. Yeah, you totally survived it. Yeah, Twin Galaxies this is intense, man. Yeah, I'm curious about what's like. I don't know. Do you have like a? Do you, have you hel have you carried a game that like you know you 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 have like a score with at you know just oh oh no that's you. I'm sorry. That is Dapper Devnil. Please ask this guy questions. I'm sorry, I'm, I just, I'm catching up with chat and trying to keep no, our conversation going. That, that's cool, man. No, man. No games that are, that are like, sorry to like totally jump away and back to the... To the high the score question. thing, it just never made sense to me. Okay. We used to play Galaga 89 on the, I believe, uh, three point, Windows 3.1, uh, me and my brother. That's the only time I was ever like, oh, I got like, my high score and this... That's a weird place to play that game, but... <laughs> Hey, arm waving folks. I never saw what a Microsoft Surface looked like until now. So no one else I know has one. There was this guy I met who was so proud of this thing. See. Okay, he was like, Okay, look, check this out. I can play like I think it was like Bioshock Infinite or something on the thing. Oh yeah. yeah. He's like, Check this this is crazy. Look, I'm here, I'm at work, you know. And I just, you know, I'm checking my email but then whoo Bioshock Infinite, man. This is this is without this mouse is, and keyboard like what controls. Is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe no, it had like you. a maybe it had like a like a. Con does this thing have a USB port? Does like maybe you plug the controller in or Bluetooth it? Yeah, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I spoke to you, uh, Dogen. Is it, are you Dogen as in like Ihai Dogen, the, the Zen, the guy oh. who started the Zen Buddhist school? Because <laughs> <laughs> that dude was pretty dope, man. I kind of, I, th I think that's been the default from like hearing other people say it as well. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember being corrected, although I probably said it r incorrectly a lot. Especially for some of these guys that, you know, are moderators in our chat, like Team Ad and Duggan. Mm -hmm. uh, even like Tomaki, like everybody, uh, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone has like, like a, an inaugural, I th I'm going to just try and pronounce it like this. Like, let me know when I'm getting closer. And everyone has that experience, yeah. probably. But that's the fun part about, about these unique strings, right? Or at least <laughs> trying to get the unique string right. Ba, 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 ba. Ah, goodness. I just want to kind of like, I just want to noodle with 3D and like make some details. Yeah, that'd be dope. Uh, I could just what make jokes while you make animations. You're actually pretty good at making jokes. I'm just taking taking it. Is it scene test one? Why is it numbered? Did I do some kind of weird iterative saving? This is not it. It looks like a Star Fox level. It kind like of I is. could just see going under with those things. Oh, it looks like the beginning of Star Fox. Yeah. Shut up. Right. Anyway, isn't that... That'd be cool if Star Fox had a level editor built into the cartridge in and, uh, Star Fox 64. What? Because that was like the, you know, where they had the 3D go on there over like 15 frames a second. What? I mean, th what is it, 45 or 60? Like, it's pretty... Yeah. It's Just, pretty short. I feel sorry for Super Effects. It had such a short lifespan. It could do, I mean... Didn't people use it for ridiculous other things aside from like processing like vectors? Like, I'm not sure. It was developed by the European company Argonaut. Okay. They they actually did like 3D on a Game Boy game called X that was only released in Japan. It was a flight simulator. So they, after that, they developed a, an injunction with them, the Super FX chip and Star Fox. Oh, six, the Nintendo 64 version was 30 frames per second. Hey, that's better than what it was on the Super Nintendo. And remember, we didn't have Star Fox 2 back then because we didn't know it existed. Yeah, that made me sad. And now that it exists, and I know it exists, and it's freely distributable soon. <laughs> or now. Why can't I But you can actually email? buy it soon, which is cool. I do not have a... Oh, that's true. Yeah. On the mysterious SNES, like, my, mini thing, right? Classic, whatever they call it. Or, like, weird toy like thing. Star Fox. <laughs> As, that's a typo that I would make all the time. <laughs> Just because I'm so used to typing start instead of star. Why would I type in star? You know, I'm not a, an astrologist. I mean, or you start. Like Firefox, like it's a yeah, exactly. The thing that Star you Fox. can get Cortana to do for you, Star Fox, Cortana. Oh, here we go. Siri. We're listening to the Mirror's Edge soundtrack until further notice. I don't know. Discord's pretty big. So is this video? She looks so brave. She's a she's a warrior. She's got to like, what do they call those QC codes or whatever on her arm? <laughs> right. And scan it. See if it like. Brings you to a product on Amazon or something. So here's some stuff. I don't know if you've watched this stream. You no, could be one no. Of those guys. I, no. This is good kind of mood, mood music to it work is. to. It's serious. It's yeah. weird to jump between so many things on like a you know on an average day, and kind of like I'm used to it, but not. I don't feel like it's it's. I, or I guess I should say I know from experience that it is not particularly productive. No, yeah. It's just... Uh, <laughs> this, this looks like an Unreal Tournament level now. Like you're just putting together the pieces. Yeah. I'm also seeing stuff like this and like one and demanding adjustments, right? So I just want subcomponents and... There's like a knife tool, this guy. I want to put like a dot here. And connect it with that. Thanks, man. 
And I should really do something. What the? F Sorry. Who is this? Oh, cool. Where are? There we go. Yeah, you're all the way. Oh no, all the way back is fine. I just don't know why the origin is the heck over there. So tell me about creative software and your like unpopular opinions about that. Hmm. Software? Yeah. I don't know, man. All I use is the terminal nowadays. <laughs> I use iTerm and it's awesome on OS X or Sublime I Text. Ah. For just doing note taking and some code, some scripting. I'm like, I'm pretty curious about that. Like, uh, I test out as many new things as I can stand. Like, I was really into Notepad plus plus for a long, long time. I remember it got it, it got uh, someone. Put in uh, malware in a install of Notepad plus plus. Really? Yeah, and the creator had to come out and you know explain what happened. I forget the whole story. It was on Ars Technica. Okay. Yeah. Just like how SourceForge is this big, like you know, just spyware and, and yeah. ads and crap and stuff. Not spyware, but you know. Like, it's just like garbage now. You can't trust what you're going to download. Uh, what the fuck? There we go. Imagine you had a bathroom and this music was playing in the bathroom, like, anytime you went in there. <laughs> as soon as you shut the door, just like, you're like, oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's, it's, it's scare it right out of you. Am I sending polygons to do a smoothing group's job? That's what I want to know. Conform. I thought that said Floss Hub. I'm like, oh, is that like a database of different floss and how good it is? Because <laughs> I don't like the floss I have now. Maybe there's a better one out there that'll clean my teeth with less frustration. Oh, Floss Hub. <laughs> or it's maybe it's dental porn. Dental core. Floss Hub. It's ADA core. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys talk about poop a lot on this uh, stream? Ah, I talk well, about whatever. Okay, okay. Cool. I mean, poop I think is pretty reasonable. Cause I'm here today, and usually like I'll just up that percentage of talk about poop because it's one of my favorite things to discuss. You know, it's fascinating. It's brown. <laughs> it's wonderful. I mean, I've heard a number of good poop stories here for sure. Cool. cool. Um, Robbie is like a particular. Particular artist of 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 poop tales, mm. but I think that also comes with having children. You know, does he kind of smear those poop tales all around you guys? I would. You know what I mean, I'm surprised that the scent of them hasn't already caught your attention. Being an aficionado, mm. it's just uh, so, yeah, <laughs> poop monthly. <laughs> when they well, they say when you're in the poop, that 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 seems like that's all there is sometimes. Yeah, that puts you in a zen state, right? Because that's all you can do <laughs> at that moment. You're not thinking about breathing. You're not thinking about what am I going to eat for dinner. You're thinking like, all right, this has got to finish. You know? Do, do. We need to get back to that state again without having to do that all the time. It's important for humanity. Conform. No, man. Like, is this edge just too hard? I'm moving incre what I feel like is incredibly slowly. Yeah. But it is probably the case. I can't imagine why. I have no clue. But thanks for keeping track of chat. I'd yeah, no, no problem. Chat's cool. I like to hear what people are saying. They're good. No, you They're know, good. I say a lot of things, and it kind of put it kind of puts you in a check. It's like, check yourself. Watch what you're saying, man. Yeah. Like, how much poop talk can this guy can throw out there, you know? And then in the chat room, they're like, I know. So it gives you good instant feedback. It's really wonderful. And then you have the trolls on there that are hilarious. Trolls are the best. Well, not these trolls that they have now. They're crazy. They swap people. What? Like, trolls oh, yeah, nowadays, yeah. they're like a little, they go over a little too much. 
that's is that real dedication? You think like? No, it's not. It's stupidity. <laughs> Dedication's like no, I'm gonna not. see this car through the Model Three Tesla, right? right? So I gotta develop two cars before that, get funding, all that. That's you know, not like hey, I'm gonna like hurt this person as much as possible because they call me a, a, an FAG on, on the channel or whatever, right? They gotta work together. Sometimes. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I have a couple of other things to look at. It's all in the same program, but I just remembered. I just remembered. I have a couple of other people. Can you take my picture on the live stream and then have me floating in space on the chair? Like the chair and me are floating in space. That'd be too dope as hell. You know what I mean? We could do this. Yeah, that'd be cool. One day, one time. I mean, I don't know, our tech back there could probably do some wild stuff with your image around this around this room. Yeah. I don't know, I always wanted to float in space. Your parents just got a bidet in their house. Oh. I heard a lot of people are actually doing that. Yeah? The bidets, yeah. We wanted to make no a, joke. A, a commercial for a product called the Bidet Mate. Just because it sounds like Bidet Mate, I think. Oh, I got you. That's one of Jake's. That's, I think, hilarious. <laughs> Um, and then like it'll just like squirt onto the screen. Good day, mate. Good yeah. day, mate. Just give it like a little hat, and googly yeah. eyes. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I like the bass in that song. It's dope. And the envelope. Do 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 do. Some of these modern guys go to pretty intense lengths to. Uh, like I was listening about sound design of like Doom and like these other kind of yeah. Right? I didn't know how nuts like uh, Matt Hole is a sound guy, and how nuts they'll get with Foley or with you know who's tire. I do I do like food. Um, I actually spoke to you in the Food Channel, uh, Fresh Eats I think or Fresh Dishes. Yes. And you showed some pictures of your uh, your work and they were <laughs> excellent. Um, I spoke to uh, Jake Kaufman about it too as well and said that you're like in the cooking thing, so keep doing the cooking thing. It's fun. It's creative. It gives you a lot of great ideas in other areas. It's something to keep occupied with. And at the end of it, you get delicious food. Like it's a win-win situation. You know, even if your food doesn't taste that good, it's still delicious because you made it. Nobody else did. What is this? Can I just open my binaries? Floss Hub. <laughs> no, see, Floss <laughs> Hub is going to be a tube site for floss pornography. So it's just people like flossing their teeth. And then and the people that like that will pay a subscription to it. My username was Prozax, P-R-O-Z-A-X. Polish cuisine. Pierogies, that's the only thing I, I, I know in Polish cuisine because I'm uncultured. Polish? Yeah. What do you, do you know about Polish cuisine at all? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, because they mentioned it in the chat. Oh, yeah. 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 And all I could think of is pierogies. Because they're just filled with all these delicious goodness. Neat. Uh, so these are from Steven. He made a bunch of tires to pile. It's a pile of tires. Can you set them on fire? You can. Um. Get we, involved. We played Skitty, uh, City Skylines last night. Okay. And uh, Jake loaded a, uh, a board where he had a full city. And then he was demonstrating what happens when you remove the dam. Okay. Like what was what happens to the city and how important dams were. Pretty good his, good lesson not history, but like you know, if you ever think why don't we need a dam, just remove it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's great logic. All right, what is this? We have parts. Sauerkraut is delicious. Big fan. But yes, it is Sunvox. Sorry to answer 200 years later. Why is this green? 
It looks like a, what is that? A brick? <laughs> a giant brick? Yeah, it's a cinder block. Oh, I would say. oh, it is. It could be. It could be the International Space Station. We don't know. I want oh, the International Space Station to get pretty big. You know, serious. Why Fong? is it green? Like the lighting model. Right? That has a cool inter user interface. I think it's pretty smart. I, uh, I, like, I like that. It like tracks where your mouse is. And if you're hitting the actual command or not. On the top. That's real clever. Oh. This thing on the left? No, no, when you click on the, and the menu comes up, see how you push down and click face? Oh, yeah. Like, and see so how it connects. <laughs> this, you know you're going that direction with the mouse. Oh, right, right. It's easy to track with the eye. How about that? <laughs> you just, like, created something by just moving. It's like uh. No Man's Sky, like, random board editor. <laughs> Whatever, random. I like, um, because all of the stuff, it's it's trying to replace, it's like Blender, right? Or I'm trying to think of other programs that do that. Okay. Uh, but you're replacing, like, this motion of, like, going up to one of these options, like, for a lot of common things, right? You're like, oh, I can press shift and get this set, and control has that set. Yeah. And, you know. There are programs that have, like, weird... Like in Photoshop, there are keyboard strokes where it matters whether you press Control or Alt in a certain way. Mm. Like, which one you press first. Uh, ZBrush is really like that. Really heavily like that. Well, that looks good. How about the UVs? Oh. Oh. And nope. Oh, I'll see the other one. I don't know if Steven unwrapped the tire. This is probably going to be fine, though. This looks good. That's, well, now that I've messed it up. Interesting. Okay. We'll do that. Pulled pork. It's, yeah, pulled pork sounds so violent. How so do you make I it? want the pulled pork. I want it pulled. I don't want you to actually take it out with a spoon. I want you to pull it and put it on my sandwich, dude. Sour croquet. It's starting to get hungry again. I just, just ate like three pounds of taco. <laughs> so much taco, so more time. Okay. Taco. Gotta see who you're dealing with, see who you're asking about. Alright. I will not save, as I have not made adjustments to your files. Let's see, those are here. I guess I can put them in my project folder. Uh, wherever <laughs> you are. Just I got these last week from a couple other modelers. I'm just tracking, just tracking uh, progress. They're supposed to work together to put this scene together. That's cool, but man. But it's gonna take some time. It looks like. That's okay. Is it Maya projects? Where do I? Where do I? I don't use this computer enough. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? There's nothing in here. No man. No man. Don't. Is the shift key stuck? <laughs> Sour croquet. It sounds like it'll make an awesome desktop background. <laughs> <laughs> Some it's like, what is that? Into a web app. <laughs> the Jeremiah folder here. Yes, there is. There we go. You got stuff. It's a shame that no one's mentioned what Nurin rhymes with. In the community, because <laughs> this is the first thing that I, I never thought, thought of. of it that way. But it wasn't, you know, it took you to, it to took elevate. It took you to come here across <laughs> across the country 
<laughs> to elevate to my elevate. sensibility. I would, I would, I would have been cautious <laughs> with that name, honestly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> look, look at the Wii U. Oh, dog. Gosh. I mean, it's easy to make that mistake. That is too good. Yeah. <laughs> I worked for a company that had the same problem, and I didn't know until someone mentioned it to me. It just shows you how serious you are at life when you like have something that's serious. You look at it very seriously, you know, like, "Hey, yeah, this is nerd, dude. This is serious." <laughs> but yeah, but you, you know what that rhymes with? No, dude, I don't. This is my life. Uh, I can really, I can't, I can't focus. You can't focus. <laughs> I'm just, Did I ruin I'm, your focus, dude? Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know how much of it was there to begin with or this to the oh, start true. of the week. You, the, the best part is that you don't need the focus. You just need to be chill and do whatever you want. Yeah. There's like a hundred things you can do here. Oh, easily. Yeah, man. Uh, just moving scene data. You can like level up in an RPG so that you feel like you accomplished something. That's what I do. Oh, I'm level two now. Yay. <laughs> Sunday checked off. I did something. <laughs> cool. Yeah. What? I just hope NERN's not an acronym. You know what I mean? Oh, that'd be great. I like playing that game a lot. Yeah. You know? But what are some alternative names that could be, you know, like, let's say that if you do... Oh, it, like an essay question, right? Yeah, like, like exactly. Uh... I'd call it robot sex because I think it would have a lot of people buy it because that's what we think it, that would happen in it. But that's it's a not, good point. You know, it's just music and people yeah. dancing to the music. None of that. But the people don't know that, right? They'll buy it. And you guys can make a killing. Actually, don't do that. It's terrible advice. I think making a living is probably a lot better than making, <laughs> I know, <right? laughs> making a killing. I mean, you can fool the public once, right? <laughs> The public. But what's cool nowadays? Is Cyberpunk still cool? I don't know. Because it's like Blade Runner 2049 is coming out soon. And people are stoked about that for some reason. Ryan Gosling's in it. I know he's hot and everything like that. But man, I had, I had enough Blade Runner with the first one. <laughs> I don't need another glass of it. You know what I mean? Plenty other good stuff out there to watch. That's just going to look weird. Row selection. It's in a. There we go. Boo! That's why I use the shader to see if these smoothing groups are worth it down. Totally weird shit on the way there. Whoa! What did you ride your scooter? Yeah. Man, I have no idea. Like down the like Did anyone see you fall off oh, the... Yeah, dude, yeah. Like, like four, or four or five people were just like, what the fuck? How did you play it off? Did you just look I just cool? Got up, I was like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're like, you it know, happens. Yeah. Like life. Check, checked out the scooter. I was like, yeah, it still works. And I just kind of scooted off. Oh, nice. And then when everybody left, I like stopped. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Sucks. He ate it. Yeah. Scraped his elbow. Scooting's a dangerous business, man. You gotta be careful, yeah. It's part of the, the occupation, though. You know, you scoot, you fall down. Scoot, scoot. I mean, if you're not falling down, are you really scooting? Oh, man, that's a good question. Like, are you riding the horse, or is the horse riding you, man? Oh, Who's riding? Jake lives, like, like, right next to a horse right now, and it's the coolest and weirdest thing at the same time. Right. You know, like you never go. When I want my next apartment, I want a horse to be next door. <laughs> but then you, you're next next to the horse. Like you know, it's pretty cool. This horse is chill. It's all muscular. <laughs> just kind of paces around. Yeah, you feed it carrots. You just sort of shits everywhere. Yeah, throw carrots in his face. You know, it feels like you're watching one of those like movies where like the white people come to the Native Americans land and take it and start a war. But this is like the peaceful time where the, they're just hanging out and there's a <laughs> horse there and there's like a blonde girl and, you know, 
everyone's like talking about the earth and how they love it and they're happy the sun's shining you know <laughs> and then all the shit happens but this is like before that when they're petting the horse that's what i was trying to get at <laughs> I, i'm sorry i don't mean to interrupt your, your, your artwork fine. here i don't know much about artwork i don't you know i mean I, I try to answer questions if you have them but i'm i'm you know i'm, I'm getting to know you i'm listening to your tales and uh let's oh. see yeah press and how many and scooters we have not that many scooters like, I don't know. The more scooter, the six. I have no idea. So, so like, I don't if, if they had a lot more scooters, would they be cooler or would they be less cooler? Like, where it's like a problem. Like, yeah, we got fifteen scooters in the house. How many people <laughs> are there? Like two. You're like, dude, right. you have a problem. You need to go to scooter therapy, man. Hello, hello, hello. Just can't, just can't move correctly. Yeah, the scooters are hard, man. I totally ate it on that curb. Scoot scooters. Imagine mm -hmm. like you're a single guy and what you do is you run a scooter business. Like how do you tell the, the woman that you're dating? Like, what do you do for a living? Like, I have a scooter business. I buy, sell, <laughs> rent, and lease scooters. I, I repair scooters. Oh, I, I, I scoot. Yeah, That's what do you like what do you do for a living? Professional scooting. Yeah, um, I'm on the European circuit. In Albania, there's a big uh, scooting culture. Cross country scooting. Cross cross country scooting. It gets pretty intense. Your one calf muscle gets really big. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, we, and it gets hard because sometimes you're just always turning to the right, <laughs> like you're just constantly going in a circle. So you know, training is, is intense. It's super intense. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> but yeah, depending on the number of people that are here, we only keep, I don't know, two or three. Some of them are at Jake's house, but the ones at the studio, I'd say about half of them are here. There's a, there's a few in the car as well. What? There's a few in the car as well. How many scooters are we talking about? There's like four right now in the car. N never okay. leave the house yeah. without a scooter. That's what the, my mom used to always tell me. Clearly. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how many scooters it was. It's Scoot City, man. I, I, wow. Yeah. It's Scoot City, I like that. It sounds like Circuit City, but scooters. All scooters. They'd be out of business, like, scooters, within 60 scooters, days. Scooters, get your scooter at Scoot City. <laughs> Imagine we live in the world where that happened. That'd be weird, man. And nobody wants Nintendo anymore. Everyone wants scooters. Like, like it, stopped with, it stopped with the scooter. It never went any further. Oh man! Right, like transportation was just different forms of scooters. Every the world was the world was just the world. It was like a Rick and Morty alternate universe, right? Where they're just like everyone's riding a scooter, but they're like really advanced mm. people. Yeah. They know something we don't know. Maybe the the whole the whole premise is that we're going so fast we're not looking where we're going, and that everyone stopped for a bit and realized they didn't need much to transport transportation. <laughs> And the scooter was the ideal, ve uh, you know, vehicle for the masses to use. Not a very intimidating form of transportation either. <laughs> it's yeah. not like if a guy comes up to you and he's like wants to fight you and he comes on a scooter, you're probably not gonna be that afraid. No, no. You know what I mean? Like he's like the you and me right now, and he like puts the scooter against the wall. Yeah. Like he's angry. He turned the handle pretty intensely. And he has like a little like a uh, scooter alarm. He goes whoop whoop, <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks at you all seriously. He's like, he's like, yo, you. He's come like, here. he's like, come here, I'm gonna kick your butt. That's I was funny. trained in the school of scoot. <laughs> what if he used a scooter? Like, let's say that he was a uh, he was a, a character in Street Fighter Five, and that was his weapon or something. Not Street Fighter Five, but. Let's say it was like a so game where specific. they had weapons. Jeez. Yeah, like Mortal Kombat 4. <laughs> you can pick up a scooter and ride it and then attack people with well, it. Wasn't wasn't the Duck King in uh what was that? Final Fighter? Oh, something? Duck King, yeah. yeah. Duck King, he was the uh he was the guy the kid on the skateboard, he fight on a skateboard. And then there was the other guy in Samurai Showdown, the dog. You can use the dog to attack people sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those SNK games were dope. Yeah, they are. 
Yeah, there. I got the uh, got a bunch of them on here. Oh damn, man. Yeah. 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 You ever play Wind Jammers? Yes. Wind Jammers. It's a um, volleyball game, apparently. It's really awesome on Neo Geo. I haven't played it, but I hear a lot of people saying it's like a really like, underrated game. Huh. It was kind of in the same... Is it like an NBA Jam type thing, or is it like... I'm not sure. It was, it's, isn't it like that... There's a there's like an arcade soccer game that was around forever. Uh, Dude, like you know, before... FIFA? No, before, before like... like it was a kind of... that You pay like per quarter, like when NBA Jam had like... Right, like at the end of each whatever like four minute session or something mm -hmm. in the arcade or in VA Jam you'd have that like this weird other there's a baseball game like this and a soccer game in most places an SA and yeah, game. Oh. But the volleyball version is a whole other game. Whole other game. It's 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 just a shame that it's called wind jammers. If you think about it, it's a terrible pick. Cause then like how does now how how does how what is a wind jammer in volleyball? It's, I don't know you like Oh, I, it's probably a term, right? We probably have to look that up. Yeah. Do but since like, I might have a phone yeah. There we go. I'm gonna look it up. Look it Wind Jammer. Because that was that. What was that movie where um, Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg's, I think, a, a porn star. What's that movie called again? Oh, Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights, yeah, and, yeah. and the movie's called Log. No, that's the Big Lebowski. The video in there is called Log Jamming. It's a shame. Yeah, they're watching a video of the, the woman that Bunny that gets kidnapped in the movie. Huh. And she's in a pornography video called Log Jamming. Air Slammers. So yeah. a wind jammer is a collective name of many classes of large sailing ships built to carry cargo for long distances in the 19th century and early 20th century. What? That's, that's really like, that's they really jammer. missed the ball on that one, the marketing Yeah, we department. totally missed that. That's I think they were just like, what do you do with a volleyball? You, you I thought maybe it'd be like a jacket or something, like their, their, their beach jacket, but it's not. They should have called it gravity punchers. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's what they're doing, right? They're not jamming. The wind's not jamming. They're punching the gravity. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't it like a dope move? Like, in, you know, in, 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 in basketball, it's a slam dunk, you know? Like, oh, yeah, the slam spike. Dunk basketball, you know, 20-something, and then you know, home run, MLB. Like, what is... Spike, 2017. Yeah. Like, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, just picture yourself like getting spiked on. It's such like a alpha, like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, like I'm the man, boom, oh, yeah. like yeah. in your face. It's like worse than getting dunked on because they're purposely aiming for your nose. Yeah, and it's going at like 500 miles an hour <laughs> towards your face, yeah. and you have like a millisecond <laughs> to respond. Yeah. <laughs> they're called an air slammer. Yeah, air slammers, man. <laughs> It's too. just as stupid if you think about it. Oh, this game looks dope. Oh, it, look, it does look like an NBA jam because there's like fire and stuff coming off of it, off the ball. Huh. I hope it's better than the Super Dodgeball they released on the, I think, Neo Geo, or the one where it has the scaling going insane. The game mm -hmm. just keeps scaling back and forth, back okay, and okay. forth. And the Neo Geo is known for its scaling abilities. I think it was on that platform. Mm. But uh, it was so annoying. You can't play. You just literally get, like, sick. So I guess it's on the PlayStation 4 now. Really? Yeah, Windjammers? PlayStation 4 and PS Vita. August 29th. It'll be on. So nice. There you go. You well, can we, could, we don't have 4. to wait till August 29th, because why wait? Windjamming all night. So... Just get under the sheets and start wind jamming. Start wind jam. <laughs> what did you do last night? I was wind jamming it with my friends. Let's go wind jamming, <laughs> comma baby. I got. Yeah. We should all wear like <laughs> um, we should all wear like windbreakers and shit. Oh. Yeah, we should definitely. Yeah. Actually, no. We should wear like we should dress like mafiosos and like all Adidas windbreaking. It seems comfortable. It does. That's why they wear it. Yeah. But do you think that people won't take you seriously otherwise? Like, you know, people should be able to wear whatever they want, whatever their occupation is. Unless it's, like, dangerous, right? It's, I, I don't it's know, like man. Like That's the best kind of volleyball. Know, right? It's... Like, it's almost like Street Fighter art. You could just play synthwave yeah, it's, music it's totally over it. SNK, like, art of fighting art. Check this out. Yeah. 
No, that looks like the cover art for Art of Fighting, but with yeah, volleyballs. Yeah, it does. It does. Like, it totally yeah. Does. yeah. Yeah. Like that painted, like... Let's amp up volleyball style. arcade style. Like midway. Oh, wait, you know what? That looks like that... Is it a volleyball? It looks like that's a Frisbee. Oh, it's a Frisbee. This is a Frisbee game. Oh, it's a Frisbee game? It's a Frisbee game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, that doesn't look... That's a disc. Damn. So Windjammers is actually a fris Frisbee game. Oh. I didn't it's like know extreme that. frisbee. Yeah. What? And I like when they, oh, hold on. Like when That's crazy. Here, like, it'll that was a soccer. Yeah. Like ice and stuff. Yeah. I don't know volleyball. What the fuck is that? So is there an awesome volleyball game out there? If this is the frisbee game, you can curve the frisbees by doing quarter circles on the D. Oh! I kind of want to play this. It's a yeah, frisbee, a frisbee fighting game. Returns on PlayStation. What? Okay. This is probably not the game I played. <laughs> oh, it's got the fighting game mechanics. Like Dungeons and Dragons Shadow of Mistara. It has the fighting game mechanics in the RPG oh. slash beat em up. Oh, neat. That's neat. So, like, yeah, you're basically trying to get it past the other dude and hit, like, three targets. Bounce it off the edges. Oh, you know what? It, is it like air hockey? Kind of. But it's, it's, it's still, you know, your dude's trying to just technically. And then like, it's like Tron then? Yeah. And like you can like bounce it off and catch <laughs> it. T-Ron. <laughs> T-Ron. It's actually kind of, it looks kind of like violent-ish. So it is, does wind jamming, I guess, does have a certain connotation to it. It just sounds dirty, man. Yeah, it does. I mean, like, it, I'm gonna go on Urban Dictionary later, and I'm just gonna double check that yeah. like I <laughs> before said, I, I say it in public again. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? D it's like, what are you doing? I was just playing wind jammers. I'm playing wind jammers. Uh oh. I'm sorry. That's cool. cool. <laughs> That's great. See you later. <laughs> Delete your phone number out of my phone now. <laughs> wind jammer. You hear about that guy that wind jams? Dude, he almost wind jammed to death. <laughs> I hear if you wind jam enough. No, I hear if you're stressed out, you just wind jam it. <laughs> <laughs> wind damn it, jam it. The Nintendo Switch, I'm sorry, I know it's still early because it came out on March 3rd. But I look at it and I just look at it and I go, you're so, so sorry right now. You don't really got anything I want to play on you. You got Zelda, but the Wii U has Zelda too. Like, True. what do you show me? What you got? True. Show me what you got. And the Switch is like, here's a Master Blaster game that we remastered, sort of. Guys, please. What does that mean? I don't know. So are we going to play some wind jammers, yo? <laughs> Seriously. Have we talked about it? We have to check it out at some point. Or you maybe in a YouTube video. Because that's oh, the way I do it now. Why play the game when you can just watch someone else do it? Right? What is this game? Wind hammers. Which sounds... Make sure you have safe search on. Safe search. You don't know what's going to come up. Oh, man. Maybe SMK. In, in, in Wait. Oh, oh, there's somebody playing it well, right now on Twitch. Yeah, I wonder if we can not hear the m person talk. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, cool. Look, you can like... What the crap? Right? Oh, it's like... It's like... American Gladiators only has... A weird... Tennis game. Or a oh, it's Data East. It said it's... Even in the description it says, This is an SNK video game. Developed by Diddy's. Uh, so SNK was the publisher, probably, most likely. They didn't develop it. But good on Diddy East, man. I'm glad to hear them making a, a game that's uh, I never heard about that's pretty cool, you know? Oh, so I guess the center. The that's center not one? Karnoff. Oh, what neat. Is this? <laughs> good, good, good. That might actually be kind of a cool virtual reality game. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, sure that, they have one out there, a demo. Actually. That's that's a great idea. Well, that dude looks like somebody. I don't know. I love the artwork. 
Ah. Yeah, it's just that old school SNK look. Oh, we're gonna randomly go to a clay I zone. Playing clay now. I wonder if it's different, you know, because it's just a sport. Yeah. Oh, and I see there are different goals that are worth different points. Ah. Like you're gonna have to score on the other person. Yeah. But you know, are you gonna defend your high value one or be vulnerable everywhere else? Whoa. A lot of skill there. A lot of things going on. And the red is worth five. Yeah. So. I wonder how the controls. The controls Whoa. look a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if the game is fast enough. It looks kind of like sluggish with the controls. Hmm. And look at all the different angles you can throw it at. Damn. Oh, it knocked him in. That guy's getting his butt whipped. Oh, oh he's got five points. Characters. That's a good strategy. Because look, he was down by two goals. Now he's only down by one point. Just hitting it in the middle. All right. That keeps games close. Ah, uh, so there's like attributes. So some throw harder, some are faster. Yeah, and there seems to be like lobs and just flips and stuff. Tennis. Hockey. Sounds like it has like a lot of depth. Good, good game. You've been defeated by whoever. By I, whoever. I think it's funny that they have a trailer for the PS4 version of it. Like on, that was um, the first thing that came up. That's what is that? What this is what? No, this is like before the first. This is the first search. Oh, okay. Um. So, I I what's funny about that is this game is how old? You know, <laughs> like it's been out. You can readily play it if you know how to find it. And... But you, you really should see the trailer. That'll make you want to buy it. Yeah. No. It's just like let's hype up a game that's this old. To try to get some cash flow into our company, and people will just eat it up. Like uh, any food craze, right? He didn't even he didn't even know about roguelite until <laughs> they showed up. Oh yeah. Uh, let's walk this back. Cause that doesn't look great. It also looks like I was manipulating it kind of from the wrong axis. I wish I could just step through my history and fix that. Yeah. And I thought it was like this is workable. This is cool. If I like mirror it in another dimension. And it could be like a neat set, like a pattern, right? Okay. Like, I didn't want that to... That was an unhappy accident. But it didn't... It didn't come over well. Lobs and special moves. They're not sure how to... Like, do you mean special moves like Mortal Kombat or something? Where <laughs> you press a certain, like... No, he was talking about buttons. it earlier. It was like a quarter circle. Right. Like like, so a, like a yeah, like a fireball or something. Oh okay. Hadouken. Hadouki. I do that. See the poop thing's coming back. I mean Hadouken does rhyme with poop thing. <laughs> so I'll give you that. The Dragon Ball Z. I wanted to buy the new um Street, Ultra Street Fighter two uh turbo edition. Okay. H D remix. I can't even say the name, it's so long. <laughs> But it, <laughs> that's like every, like every series from that. By the time it's done, you're just like seriously, guys. Okay. Oh, the quarter circle stuff is to just curve your throw. Okay. Anyway, the whole idea is you got to play it and get a feel for it. It's the best way. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. We're, we're going back to the Ultra Street Fighter Two Turbo Hyper Remix uh, Salt Edition. Yeah. I was like, I want to play this. I don't care about the new mode. There's a first person mode called Way of the Duke or something like that. And I heard you just take the two Switch controllers and go like this like 800 times until like your bicep falls off. <laughs> so I don't care about any of that. I just want to play some Super Street Fighter 2, you know what I mean? <laughs> On my Wii. I mean, my Switch Wii. Whatever. <laughs> and they want $39.99 for it. Yeah, $40. it's ridiculous. For a remake of a game that came out in 2008. It's a remake of a remake, actually. And, uh, yeah. Because all they did was add evil, evil, and they or, took, no, violent Ken. 
Violent Ken, yeah. it's a Sapalit swap. Violent Ken and Evil Ryu. Yeah, as if regular Ken wasn't violent enough. It's fucking, I'm going to call you Evil Preston. Yeah, man. I'm just a palette swap. You're going to have a black yeah. shirt on and like... Can I call you, you Violent Dan? No, because then I have to be violent, dude. <laughs> so you want you want evil Cause because dis disgruntled. Because <laughs> you could be evil, right, and not yeah. do anything. But That's violent, true. you That's have true. to you do just something. Have, yeah, just have a string of evil thoughts for long <laughs> yeah. periods of time. You just like, oh, I hate this Danish. It sucks. Ah, I'm puppies. Stab ah. It. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, so the 2008 Super Street Fighter 2 HD remix, OC remix of the soundtrack. And uh, me and AE, another guy from Cali, from San Francisco, cool. he goes by A Rival now, Alex yeah, Esquivel. That guy's pretty cool. So me and him did the, he asked me to do guitar on the Ken track for it. Nice. Oh, nice. So that was like my biggest high profile guitar playing. And he got me into that soundtrack. They made it for Ken stage. And uh, they said it was too exciting for Ken stage, but they said they wanted to put it in the game. So they put it on the title screen. What? So oh, it, was wow. pretty, it was pretty cool to tell people about that. That is cool. Because it now seems wanna, like you're now much. I want to listen to that. Yeah, it seems like you're much cooler than you actually are. Just because well, you mean, have just a guitar. Play, just because you play guitar. Yeah, because you play guitar in a video game that is yeah. a remake of a song that you didn't write <laughs> that you just played guitar on in your basement. That's awesome. And your parents came and gave you milk and cookies while you recorded it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. That would have been dope, though. Thanks, mom. It's oh. double stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. If someone puts a thing of Oreos in your face and milk, that's oh, actually, uh... that thing is gone. <laughs> no, it does not exist. <laughs> it's not in the universe anymore. Replace so, that with peanut brittle. <laughs> peanut brittle. <laughs> yeah, peanut brittle too. Yeah. <laughs> or like Rocky Road, like a block of Rocky Road chocolate. Oh my god. Rocky Road chocolate is the man. It's amazing. You, it's such a manly ice cream flavor. Like yeah. you don't, you don't want to be like the girls are like. What do you want? You're like, I want vanilla. I'm like, yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Dude, grow up. Get some Rocky Road. Get some Rocky Road. Hi, Rocky Road ice cream. Everything and I left for you something there. So hi. Yay. It's okay. Like I was saying, this Mirror Z soundtrack is pretty intense. No, Michael McCann was Deus Ex. Not Michael McCann. Oh, I'm not sure. It's good though, I love it. It's dramatic. You like that? Yeah. A lot of people dislike that game. They talk a lot of smack on it. Yeah. What do you guys think of Mirror's Edge? I think good feel. I can't. It was either so long ago or it didn't have enough in it. So many games, man. Like the complaints I heard from most I, people. I don't, yeah. I don't. It's the last game that I had like a memorable soundtrack to me was like uh, V V V V V. Yeah. Right. That's the like since Halo. I think is the is the most like notable noticeable soundtrack for me. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't a big Halo fan. But I kept coming back to that game to beat it, and part of that listening to the music after dying, you know, thousands of times over the course of four or five hours, right, is like, this is actually really good. This yeah. is like fits really well. There's like, you know, I don't know. This is it. It makes it makes that weird space planet like real. It makes the game less silly, right? It gives it a tone, yeah, like a serious tone, but it's not so serious that it's comical. It's very cool, calm, very atmospheric. Deus Ex uh, is a def my favorite soundtrack. Okay. Alexander Brandon, excellent composer. Got to hang out, hang out with him a little bit at Magfest this year. Nice. He uh, hung out actually amazingly in our hotel room a couple nights, and we just 
sat there and talked to all of us. Great, great dude. Really smart. Super good composer. I mean, Deus Ex, Unreal. If you ever hear any of his solo work, uh, Earthscape is a, a good... Uh, you can see all his albums on Spotify. Okay. He's got a lot of his old modules collected, too. Stuff that he did for the scene. Um, yeah. Sweet. He's a cool dude. I want to check it out. He did a Gauntlet game, Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. I don't know if you remember that game. John Romero was actually heading that project and, and kind of left midway. What is his name again? Uh, Alexander Brandon. Alex. Yeah. Like, Unreal, like, Deus Ex. Awesome. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. Tyran is a shooter for um, the PC. They actually, it uses the AWE uh, 32 to really nicely. It's got a lot of good FM soundtrack. Uh, I recommend that. I don't even know I what I'm in for. I'm just gonna. It has it that typical stage one, you know, happy shooter type vibe. If you go to actually um, Tyran the, the the song or the something Tyran the level a number 18. That's sort of like the beginning piece that introduces you to the, the, the kind of shooter vibe. And you got that FM bass. It's real nice. Ooh. Deep. Dugan is a huge FMer, I think. I don't know why I keep, like, hitting stuff on him. But I just yeah. picked up, uh, what is the name of this tool? Like the... Yeah, Michael then the boss did the some of the ASX too as we mentioned. Yeah, so and apparently they used to just send each other stuff and actually work on tracks together like DSX. They would send UMX tracks to each other over the internet. Like um, the Paris Chateau, the song for that was done by both both dudes, Alexander, and you can hear both styles in the same song. The reason I noticed is because I looked at the tracker file, okay. and it said by Alexander Brandon, or, well, Vanderbos and then Brandon, I think. So cool, man. Then, like, after all this cool stuff was released in the 90s, everyone got all orchestral happy. You know, like, we gotta have an orchestra to do everything. We have to, have to be grandiose. To make, because it was, I don't know, do you think that came from the technical limitation side of, like... That was this the is, beauty this of what, it. That, yeah, right, that was but the that's, what the, that's yeah. what the sound... Right, like, but this is, but now there's a sound blaster, right? Like, we don't just have, like, an Amiga to work with, we don't just have yeah. a, you know what I mean? A Commodore. The thing that happened is it, it got serious. Right, people were like, "Listen, we can do it now, like they do in, in Hollywood. We can give up this limitation that's been holding us back." And a lot of people probably saw it that way and wanted to have more control and more realistic instrument. Remember when like Wind Waker came out, yeah, and the and the and the samples were really crappy, and people complained about that stuff. And then Twilight Princess came out, same problem. People wanted like this orchestral real instrumentation type of a style like Super Mario Galaxy but Zelda right then Skyward Sword I think they did some I never really played that game this tutorial was like 40 minutes it's like this is how you pick up a block <laughs> like okay I, I tried I tried as well and apparently that's the game that's the richest in story I have Hyrule Historia a book that was released on yeah. basically the Zelda timeline and it's dedicated the book's dedicated to like 75% Skyward Sword I mean, it does have, like, some creation myth completing crap, you know? Like, there's... Yeah. There's, there's three timelines. There's Link gets his ass kick timeline. Right. There's Link, uh, child Link timeline when he wins and beats Ganon, and then adult Link timeline when he beats Ganon. There's three... It's just confusing now. You could just say that each Zelda game is a Zelda game contained in itself. Right. You know, like a snow globe. Like, it has everything in just that game. It doesn't rely on any other Zeldas. Just the myth of it, right? 
Right. Well, like, why have... Why is the continuity so popular, right? Because people want to understand things. They want they want to imbue meaning in their childhood. You know, like, oh, Zelda came out. That, you know, this is the cast of characters. And this one did that. And This is what was going on in my life. That's yeah. parallel to it. Like, Ganon yeah. was, like, my anxiety disorder. It's kind of like <laughs> coming up with... Uh, kind of like... What am I thinking of? I guess is it... Is it uh, the Zodiac, like, in the same kind of way, right? Yeah. You were born in the year of the Wind Waker. And yeah. Like you had, you have, you're going to have, like, a really open outlook on the world, and, but there won't be a lot of, you know, there won't be a lot of substance to it. It'll just be mostly, like, large vistas between small points in life. Yeah. That's a good way to, to kind of explain it. I mean, that's a beautiful thing about art, is you can really make anything. And that means make anything out of stuff that exists, right? Yeah. Like, I think that a lot of commodified, like, a lot of the art trade is kind of based on that idea, right? Um, where when somebody is looking for meaning in a thing... They and, see and what, somebody what they want to see. Right. Either, right? Somebody provides saying? it, like, that's... It's not different than selling, like, uh... Like, like what was the name of this floss service? Oh, snap. <laughs> Floss, Floss Hub? Floss Hub, right. Dot com. It was kind of like that you find that you find a pain that people didn't even know they had. It wasn't even like I, like the guy who, you know, whoever came up with the compass, right? Where it's like, you know, we really need to keep track of, you know, what direction we're going. Yeah, it's important. That's an important thing. I'm just looking at this mesh cringing. Yeah. You know. But it's for the art. Those spaces won't go away until I make them. That structure's still there. You know, putting on video game music while you work does does make it all seem grandiose. <laughs> oh, it's just like I'm. Oh, yeah, I, got, I, I mean, got to the end of the level, right? Like you have to. You know, I think I think uh, the game music. Game music is serious, especially in like. I think you you forget about the, the the, the the difficulty curve of being able to survive for the duration of a song, in a lot of games. Right? Yeah. Like. I didn't I didn't know there was like a, another portion of the metal slug, you know, level one. What? Really? I'm. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's a the like that for a long time was a really difficult game. Yeah, for me the Metal Slug. Would, yeah, Metal Slug is a difficult game. It really is. Yeah, you, the controls are kind of stiff. You got a like, big hitbox. Like it's it's kind of like you need a lot of concentration. Difficult to appreciate that whole. But yeah, the multiple yeah. paths you're saying like there's multiple paths. I, I don't, but I also just mean like straight upfront level one difficulty, right? Like, yeah, it gets. You know, what draws you to the game is the stuff that is in, like, the demo run, right? Like yeah. The, and where it's like, oh, crap. What do you mean this giant, like, alien spider thing shoots <laughs> bullets while, like, choking down a tower? And yeah, like, like, I gotta check that back. out. Yeah. Yeah. Or the zombie stage in, in Metal Slug 2 or Metal Slug X. And you have to, like, you have to suffer to get there, right? Like, yeah. you have to put in a lot of coins to get good at Street Fighter. No, you, yeah. You know? Definitely agreed. You know the story behind Metal Slug 2, right? And no. Metal Slug X? I don't. I just remember buying different confusions of that game, but I think Metal Slug 2, uh, that was made by a different company, right? No, so NASCA, NASCA yeah, they okay. did Neo Turf Masters, they did, you know, Metal Slug. So they released Metal Slug 2, but there was this horrible bug in it that caused the game to slow down. And it was really like game breaking. Like it would slow down to like really sl a low amount of FPS. So they had to release an actual update to the game called Metal Slug X. Oh. Because of the slowdown, it fixes the slowdown problem. So they had to release an entire other game to fix like the whole bug in the game that caused it. That's like the, that's a disaster. Yeah. Could you imagine the, like nightmare? Like you release the game and you like you didn't you didn't get that bug before it went out and yeah. got produced to like hundreds and thousands of cartridges probably. Good and thing it was a cartridge though. If you think about it, if it was a whole arcade machine, you know the MVS system, oh, you can sure, just put sure. a cartridge in, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, so but still they had to probably like 
That's why you always see X, you don't see too much. What? Yeah, man. Well, cartridges, I mean, arcades, you think that that, that mentality is what, uh, those those kind of are the rules because games are kind of from there, that, and like, you know. Yeah. Computer, you know what I mean? No, yeah, definitely, dude. Those are the rules. It costs 25 cents, man. Like, what are you doing, right? There's so much cool history behind these video games, and I find that more interesting than play the video games. Like, all the stuff when you were a kid, you had no idea where it came from. You yeah. just knew it came from Japan. And these people that were working on it were like magicians. Right. And now there's like the, the veil has been on, you know, and now we get to see these people and who they were. Some of them were female, the composer to Mega Man, the composer to Castlevania. Right. Like, the composer to Castlevania lives, like, 40 minutes away from me in New Jersey. Okay. Like, okay, I did not know that. That's cool. You know? Like, like do they do they want to have a conversation? Probably I don't want to talk. I don't yeah. want to talk. But, you know, like, what right. do you say? Like, you know, like, hey, I like your music in Castlevania. What were you thinking? I tend to, I tend to, if I get a chance to meet people who really inspire me like that, I'd like to thank them, you know? Yeah, definitely. Or, like, show appreciation, yeah. right? Just be like, listen, you may have thought you were you didn't have an audience back then, but you did. It was like, you know, I was eight, and it was a positive influence because I didn't didn't cause me to do anything stupid in my life because I like the bloops and bleeps, yeah, which people call used to call it ne like as a negative connotation, and I used to laugh. You can insult something like that, but you know, listen. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with it's music, man. Oh. Some people just like to 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 not they, if they don't understand something in their ignorance, you know. Yeah. Wow. Guitar Center. Uh oh. I'm a very busy guy. The guitar center is like going to like like a dog going to a vet. You're just dreading it. You're like, ah. Oh. You walk in, someone's playing the piano, and another dude's like, we were talking about this earlier. Right. Someone's playing stairway, or like, a, <laughs> someone's like clapped in on the piano, or I don't know. Bloops and bleeps. I like bloops and bleeps. I like bloops and bleeps. Get me thinking about like. Uh, is it is it timbre of sound like this quality of like the yeah. of the overtones? Yeah, it's the um duty. I like that one. <laughs> duty. It's the duty. It's this is this show has been the shit so far. I this show's like. been great. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been whole. There's so many good ideas that we have, you know, unearthed from the brains of, of us. <laughs> oh shit! It's wonderful. Yeah, and you get to find out. I know a lot about game music. You I know love a it. lot. No, Jake and like everyone in his in this in this history who I'm coming across. Dude, we're all blows my mind. We were all passionate about what we did, I mean, and that's how we came together. You know. Yeah. Like, we just really liked it. That's it. It's it's that simple. And then you know, you meet other people that are like you but are not like you. And they have different personalities, but they all like the same thing. So right. it's cool. And you just kind of like hang on to that weird it's like tribal <laughs> you know <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah metallic screeches fm dogan pointed out that's how i thought fm was when i was younger i didn't like it that much but i realized how clean it is and intricate and how easy to mix and fun it could yeah, be it's when very done rich right. and like incredibly flexible yeah like hitoshi sakamoto soundtracks on the genesis using his driver Compare that to the uh, the gems driver that all the American developers got, the generic uh, sound driver that the Americans got that made all their games sound like fart. Okay. So if you ever play like Sonic Spinball, it's a Sonic game that has terrible uh, sound quality for samples because they use a different driver because it was made by the U.S. team. Um, uh... So this gem driver, this gems driver was used a lot, but it's generally like looked down upon as being terrible because of its sound quality of the samples. But this guy, Hitoshi Sakamoto, wrote his own. And he was like, I don't want to compose music. I just want to write like software and drivers. But he did his own, some soundtracks on Genesis that are really good. They're really like good, produ really well produced, rich, full of like just interesting ideas, you know. They yeah, had like devilish. That's, it's a pinball game that's like an adventure game. It's weird, but it has a great soundtrack. Really intense. 
It uses both the PSG, which is the Master System Square Wave System in the Genesis, and the FM, I think it's 20, was it the 2612 chip as well, together really creatively and nice, like using echoes and stuff with the PSG channel. Yeah, the Gems driver had the crappy default instruments that, it's know what it's like, like if you bought like Cubase or, or uh, Sonar like back in the day, and it came with that generic MIDI sound font, like and you get those shitty sounds, like imagine just making music with like, like that, you know, just having these terrible sounds to work with. Kind of like a, like a grocery store keyboard. Be worse than know. that, man. Just picture like a dry electric guitar on the general MIDI. Is that like, like no delay, no reverb, just gross. It reminds me of the, there's like a, the general MIDI has a uh, guitar noise like sample where it's like, oh, you like move the articulation, your, right? Yeah, like your callous finger scrapes against the string. <laughs> right. And in Chrono Cross, they like overuse that a lot. Like, I just remember in Chrono Cross, like, is that a real guitar? And you just hear the same, like, guitar sample going, rrr, rrr. sound like someone's cleaning windows in the background. <laughs> <laughs> this is like giving a sense of urgency to finish what you're doing, you know? Like, I'm starting to relax, though. I'm listening to your story about about the game audio. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm just like, this is like, I don't know, it's reassuring. The game um, audio is, 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 is such a rich, rich thing. I mean, you look at anything deep enough, you know? Yeah. And the people that did it back then were really programmers. They were really smart people that knew how to like, and the fine people that had both the programming ability and the musical, musicality to go with it, like, you know, like finding a, a football player that can run and pass, you know, so you can use them dynamically. It's greatness, man. Yeah. Interesting about the veil being open, right? And like more people making this kind of work than ever, right? Yeah. And the internet enabling that by like, you can look that up. You can t ask people about that. You can, you know. Yeah. And now they're like historians, right? And they're like these people who like carry this knowledge and like, you know, have the resources and, and have been there and that's been over yeah. the last like, you know, three, four decades, right? Like Definitely. I recommend if anyone's interested in gaming history, the game historian on YouTube does oh, some yeah. good videos. Very, Absolutely. Very very thorough and uh very nice. Like kinda like calm <laughs> like approach to it. It's very pleasant, right? Yeah, pleasant is a great word to describe it. Also, anything with John Romero in it, because he is the smartest guy in video game that lacks the common sense to to not get in himself to say stupid stuff and do stupid things. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> These are flattened. <laughs> what? Oh, it's Jake. So we're gonna start. We were we were at Jake. We were talking about starting a site called what was it Floss Hub? It's, it's supposed to be floss porn. <laughs> just the people floss. We hire models in, in California to just do flossing, and we have him film it. And then... That's the thing. Yeah, it's like Overwatch. No, like Overwatch costumes. Like... Yeah, John Romero doesn't remember everything. That's the point. Like, he'll go into detail about something that happened in, like, 1994 on the exact day. So it goes feel a little bit like, you know... I took out my, my PC. Whoa. Take your hyper act activity elsewhere, <laughs> Buster. I know. I busted your scooter, my bad. <laughs> no. That sounds fun. Let's set it on fire, then write it. Doing that internally by turning it on. Nice. Look at uh, MC Nakbar is no, back. I just can't. What, uh, what's Moo Man? 
Ooh, ma'am. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty cool. As ever, Chad's hanging out. I don't think it's fun. Just pretend you're ice cream. That's what Bruce Lee said, right? He's like, he's like, be ice cream. Be, <laughs> be like ice hard, cream. Be hard when it's cold, <laughs> soft when it's hot. <laughs> Bruce Lee, 2014. <laughs> he's still alive. Damn it, he's on an island in Cuba. Dude, isn't Tupac screwed now? Because everyone said Tupac's not dead. He's in Cuba. Right? What? But now that we're open to go to Cuba, Americans, like, he might be spotted on the street. You'd be like, yo, that's Tupac. I've never heard the Tupac Cuba theory. Yeah, there's, a, there's like a conspiracy theory. So, Jake is Moo Man. How was your day, Jake? It's been so far so good. I'm on top of the world, but I'm not sure which world. Good day. He's not sure which world it is. I'm not sure if it's a or a or a negative one. I gotta tighten the graphic for sound glitch forever. How, how would you fix the sound? I would probably start by pressing the uh -huh. Oh, okay. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Okay. Nice. Well, so you, you're like, okay, it's like, let's see what you're doing here. <laughs> and then somehow, like magically, after all of that, we'd have we'd arrive at some kind of conclusion, having cleared our minds and cleansed our spirits, and the petrol-powered adventurescape of the mountains. Yeah. And then we'll somehow be able to just like. Now you're just making this all up, man. I'm always making it up, Dan. So, I think what you want to you want to. I'm say making everything up all the time. That's literally my job. I could see the future now. I can make up music and excuses. You're gonna but make a robot body that integrates software and hardware together. If I can somehow train a neural net to make vert music reliably, I can kick back and well, like invent some go karts. Would you call something. it vert net? No, a neural network. Yeah, I know. But what, would you call, what would you call that computer? I'm saying. Would you I would call, call it vert net or then network of computers? Or vert net. I would call it. A a Beowulf cluster of vert. Beowulf cluster. Do mm -hmm. they still exist? The Beowulf you could have me generating like 500,000 MIDI files per second if you hook me up to like... And it's all like Japanese at cock home. rock. It's like, like verting at home. And you just have like... Yeah, it's all Japanese butt metal from like 1994. It is. <laughs> Red book audio like this, basically. I pray at the altar. It's like... Saki I, I type in T uh, TurboGrass 16 uh, Super CD-ROM music. Red Book yeah, I thought it was a gun too. I thought Preston was coming here to shoot me with like a taser or something. Cause honestly, it wouldn't surprise me in this jackass establishment. Don't take, don't tase me, bro. I'm like, I'm expecting a boxing glove out of freaking nowhere at any moment here. But you know, at least it's not a piano. So I've been saved somewhat for a minute. You just have to look upwards, mm. to the side around corners and stuff. Be careful. You want to play some Mario Kart later? Yeah. Throw, toss around some pigskin. <laughs> Play some GameCube. <laughs> oh, a game, dude! I, yeah, man, GameCube sounds great. Play some uh, underrated classics. Oh, Odama. Have you ever played Odama before? Is that the? Is that one of the um, Big Brother shooters? It's um, Odama is a pinball strategy game. A pinball strategy. That game. came with its own con custom controller. I think. Oh wait, wait, that's what. This or is, I had a microphone. It? Is on that what the stuff is? The, the crazy like. Um, you would you would give the commands. Crazy soundtrack you showed me yesterday. No, it had nothing to do with one? that. No, no, oh. no, that was that It's a different pinball game that involves. Oh yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, it actually comes. Man, y'all yeah. take your pinball hella seriously. It's like you think you're like into pachinko or something. And like, like you hit like people with the you flippers. You do the pinball. You hit armies. Formula quite well. Hey Ben, what are you up to? What are you working on? I'm just quadrangulating and thinking about You're quadrangulating, you're reticulating splines. Yeah. I just want to see what this looks like. Conforming, hill, fill hole, reduce and smooth. Stop, collaborate, listen. <laughs> stop, collaborate, listen. <laughs> it's like file, stop, file, collaborate. That's file, actually listen. really wise advice from the Vanilla Ice. 
Yeah, stop collaborate and listen. Just listen. Listen. Wait, shouldn't it be shouldn't listen. it be stop collaborate stop listen then collaborate? Because you no, gotta hear no, what they no. need to say first. You have to collaborate on listening. You have to agree to both stop. Oh. First stop collaborate. Oh. Like and collaborate and listen. Like hey. Collaborate and listen while you're collaborating, especially on doing whatever it is, even if it's getting across the street safely. Okay. I don't know. I'm just making that up, but it sounds like that's something Vanilla Ice. Well, that's very convey. convincing. That's very convincing. Though. I'm able to bullshit convincingly. That's liter again, literally my job. I wouldn't admit that, man. No, that's how you write music that sounds like something else. If somebody's like, "Oh, make it sound like the 1970s," or like, "Make it sound like you are at a Bigfoot convention, like the monster truck." Yeah. But it's like vert there in 16 bits, and I'm like, "Okay, whatever." Like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, or if it's gonna sound like butt tastic. I but used to, you, yeah, you used to get like angry when like, people used to ask you, like, "What inspired you to do this genre?" Like, you did a song for Beige once. <laughs> We were like, why yeah. did you come out with that? Just, like, I don't know. I just turned on my head radio and it was there and it made me <laughs> laugh. Head radio. And, and I had to run over to the thing and make it like so other people could hear it instead of me just laughing like an idiot to myself. Yeah. I only do that sometimes. Are they familiar with your, some of your best work, like waffles? I don't know, but I'd like to make high-end high modern versions of all those songs mm. at some point. Just give it a little like modern love now that it, an yeah. older me can actually produce them. You know. Probably from memory if I had to at this point, but yeah. we still have them somewhere. They're kicking around. Definitely. On Inclusive Earth. Lemming, make sure that. Oh, yeah. Vanilla Ice <laughs> is actually a really well-spoken guy. The guy knows his history incredibly well and is a super nice guy. I'd love to have him over as a guest then. We should talk about like video game and hip-hop and how it's integrated together. Does he, like, live around the area? Together. Does What's he not know Vanilla Ice? Or we should just talk about, like I don't know, philosophy or like monitor speakers or like... Charlie Chaplin movies or something. I don't know, wait, whatever. Wait, hold on. Should be fun we should to look up where he lives. Because he sure lives in the L.A. around somewhere. Around he at least has a home out here or something. I don't know. He probably has friends out here. I mean, I don't know. He might live next door to us in Byron or something. You know, I don't, let's I find idea. out. Let's get Vanilla Ice on the show. Yeah, let's. I want to get Snoop Dogg out here, too, but for different reasons. Um, and But we got to get Vanilla Ice here. And we got to talk about, like, just inspiration and just how you deal with, like, well, yeah, we're not going to talk about, stuff, yeah, not talk about just crazy stuff in everyday career. life. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, want to even, like, interview Vanilla Ice. I just want to, like, chill with him. What's like, the yeah, philosophy of the ice? Stuff. Go out to the, the grotto of chillness outside, the yes. grotto of tranquility, and just, like, talk about life. With talk about ice. life, drink some mint I watched and... Cool as Ice. We sort of, like, like ironically watched it because it's an old bad movie about, you know, but it was actually like really super enjoyable, like going back and watching it. It okay. was like it was unbelievably awkward and extremely problematic by my professed social justice warrior standards. But um, honestly, I just laughed a lot. It was like really with it, not just out. Okay. It wasn't just I can't believe how awkward this is. This, it was like that was so out. Even for then, it was so out there and weird and cool and new and just even if it was all appropriated. From so we can rap, get rap culture. At least he like. At least he had. I mean, he came. He's talked about that kind of thing ever yeah. since, and tried to reconcile it with his own. So I don't need to like grill him anymore about how he came about his inspiration or what's he, what he's been doing with his. Career. I just want to like talk about like what's Ask the new hotness in pork FPS chops. games or something. Yeah, if he likes barbecue, we're I gonna. I love pork chops, man. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, he lives down the road from Michael Bay. Oh wow, that helps. I'll where, go right over to Michael's house. He's where does cool. Michael Bay live? Well, he lives right next door to me, probably. I don't know. There's like rich people up on the mountains and we're like down below in the valley doing I've the farming it. labor and stuff. They used to big houses. That's like Sylvester Stallone out there and stuff. They got like, you know, weekend weekend houses. Where I wonder they, if like he would a vacation from their vacation. I just want to be in like the most beautiful place. Sorry, go ahead. No. It's the best though out there. It's legit. I can't blame them. Yeah. If I had billion. Oh, sorry. I'm playing pussy with you, Danny. Aw. Did you call me Danny? I did. Sorry. I was because it was I was an affectionate moment. I, yeah. I was weak previously. Oh, in the Florida Keys. In the Florida Keys, dang. I was in the Florida well, Keys. Well, he probably just fly out here on his own custom wingsuit or something at this point. He probably just has a jetpack or something. He just yeah. jet over and just be like, whoa, what's up? The Florida Keys, I was there two years ago, and uh, uh, we, we saw like everyone's house. It's all in a row. Like ACDC, the guy, the lead singer, had a house there. Nice. They're all in like this one really nice island that has uh, quartz it's for sand. So it doesn't get super hot. Right, right, so right. Also, you can walk on it. And white, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why people uh, buy houses over there because it's really pleasant. I see, beach. I see. Honestly, I'd rather be in the mountain chaparral at this point. Yeah. Just around as much wilderness and space from other people as possible. I just want to be like, yeah. like look out over a barren Minecraft terrain. Just 
extreme hills over here, some desert, here's some palm trees, like here's a lake, like here's some zebras or whatever. Like and just like yeah. zone out and zen out, man. Zone out. Zone out Tune and in, zen out. out. Tune in, zone out and zen out and just be. Like BOS. Yeah, what ha oh the story behind BOS is real interesting. Yeah. What is BOS? It's not like McAf uh, McAfee interesting. No, but it's, it's like just, it's intriguing. It's it was, interesting how it developed and R Rosenfeld. And how it's related to Apple. It's not like it's the Gizmondo level Apple. intrigue, you know. No, no, no. Gizmondo was <laughs> like funded by uh, Mephisto, right? They there were, was all kinds of crazy stuff ha happening with that. I've heard earfuls from various journalists that have gotten somewhat uh, responsibly uh, intoxicated within the past. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to spill any secrets or say anything, but. There's some people with I some, think, like, there's conspiracy theories about that that go beyond the normal what's available. Uh, people got excited. Yeah, there's, like, follow the money stuff that goes all kinds of places. There's some interesting personal, like, well, I was privy to this conversation. and Privy? Uh, yeah. It gets, it but gets, man, business, man, business sucks. Either. Even game business sucks. All business sucks. I just wish we could just like get money off a tree, but we have to grow the trees yeah. there and work on it and you know, keep it alive. It's hard to keep it alive. You gotta like play it music and stuff that you wrote and it knows and it'll grow like money if it's good. If we could reduce the model to that so that our, maybe we, we just have to invent a money tree, Dan. No, we don't. Artists we just have to eschew money. We don't need money where we're going. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> are we going into a pure barter driven I, economy small island nation that we're going to take over no Please. i think i don't know man with like or, hovercrafts with like mounted laser rifles or whatever we could probably laser. we could do rail guns at this point we don't we could just wind our own magnets and make rail guns oh. like diy potato cannons we could probably secure an island with potato cannons against like wildlife Hold that thought we want to just bring back that oh. we're playing oh, alexander yeah. brand oh yeah that dude. A PC uh, shooter called Tyran. I love me some Siren. <laughs> Cyra, Cyrax. Siren. 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 Yeah, There's I a game. I love me some Tyrion and some Syrian and yeah. some Brandian and an Alexander Brandy Brandian. Alexander Brandian. Brandian Brandy. I think it's playing. Has it started over? No. Yeah, it's still playing. Oh, it's like if you here. go up, there yeah, was yeah, a. There the, this is a man who knows oh, how that's to on, do much This looks like another dude. This is a, yeah, this is a, there was, there was some collaboration on this soundtrack. This one has more of a like butt rock, but like drum. Oh, there you go. That's some demo scene shit right there. Yeah, it's that's like some tracker bands. Some dog. pentatonic. <laughs> Where? It's like, it's like exactly. Even that sitar pad. Yeah, that only sounds like that in a tracker, really, unless you like. It's because it's so convenient. People do it a lot, unlike MIDI, where you have to like draw a pitch bend or like play it. And it never sounds like that if you play it. It's a tracker. -y. It's a dead giveaway for tracker. Yeah. You could technically make MIDI that sound that has that sound to it, but you'd have to draw the actual uh, controller. You'd have to do it in a very particular way that doesn't necessarily lend itself to productivity. It's like yeah, it takes a bit, right, to get mechanically perfect. <laughs> that that's so weird. That I like. It's like Huey Lewis in the news. Yeah, you gotta have. Yeah, I want to like produce this with like a live brass section. Don't need money. Boo -doo. Boo -doo -boo. Yeah. See. <laughs> See. But you ain't got a day to go. <laughs> Gonna eat that steak. It looks so delicious. No. It's tough to be a bubble in the USA. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Gonna eat lo mein every day. <laughs> I know half of me is pot Chinese. But you gotta give me them noodles, please. <laughs> Put that lo mein on the floor. Let's find it out there in the yard. Sprinkled there for all the children to play in, like a, a fountain of help the children. Partially eroded, left out. Take left your take out. Take your leftovers. leftover lo mein. Put it uh. on the grass. Let the dog out. Yeah, that's You're right. You're not gonna get harassed for a hot minute. Uh. But it's preferable if they're rice noodles, though. I don't like him eating wheat. But I do like him eating something other than garbage. Yeah. So that's literal actual is. garbage. It is that, but that's garbage. We can, we can totally, we can totally like fool him for like probably five to ten minutes, just throwing a bunch of rice in the yard, and he's just like a chicken. Peck, 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 peck,
Yeah. He's got his nose <laughs> like snuffling in there, and it's like poor grass. Well, no, he's like probably fertilizing it with his like drool somehow. <laughs> you know, watering easier. He's like he's really craven. He just doesn't stop until he gets every tiny speck of food matter. That's so craven. He's like a. He's like a run length encoded plankton filter. He just will get every speck, but just a, linearly, it just goes up and down in rows like a. Like he's planting crops in reverse. That's that's a good euphemism for taking a poop. Planting, planting crops. crops in reverse? Not in reverse. That's just well, it's like sad. The circle of life, right? But Oh, yeah. I didn't think of it that deeply. Yeah, but Nug is particularly looking for like niblets of things that he can nibble all the time. He's just always hungry. Right. He never he has this unceasing, unquenchable hunger, insatiable. Right. It never ever is, if he eats something, he'll just want just as badly to eat more. Until, yeah. And it never, ever, no matter how much he eats. That must be a terrifying existence. Like, there's a while after which I'm just like, you know what? I'm good. But Nugget never reaches the I'm good point. I know. I've like, noticed that. Yeah, he's just like, and he, gets, want and more. he starts getting upset. You want some more? Aww. I should just. He, he was licking his plate yesterday. It was disturbing. Yeah, that's what I did when I was like five. So he's about as smart as a five year old at this point, and I'm starting to get worried. Because he's only like figuring out more destructive tricks to get snacks. Soon he's going to be able to open the fridge, even if we put a padlock on it. Dude, he got the pizza that yesterday. Yeah, that was a disgrace. He got it wasn't pizza. that good pizza, though. They kind of cooked it a little heavy for me. Yeah, but he liked it. You know, the so. cheese was a little toward, tending towards the brown spotty side, where yeah. you're just like, it had those big bubbles in it, too, where it's just like, oh, man. That's like, there goes half of the cheese of experience and the sauce of this. It's now just about this crust bubble. Yeah. You know when you get that kind of pizza where it's just like, you know. Seven subjects in 12 minutes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, welcome, we to, welcome to hanging out with Jake. This is why I'm not on stream because I can't even get it together enough to actually like do a thing. Yeah, Unless man. I'm focusing on the screen and I have people like pushing me with prod, like electric prods. But. Do you have a prod here? Because I can use it. Oh, no. I left all my prods at home, Dan. Oh. And the pepper spray. Oh, Norrin Rad? Okay. Norrin Rad, yeah, Norrin Rad, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Norrin Rad. Oh, look at that. Norrin Rad is a, uh, from the shizzies. A knowable terrifying. The shiz. Norrin Rad is, is very, good. very, very good. Remixer, wow. composer. Well known. Nice. Matthew Crema. Treasure Buster. That's Master it. Master of the Chiptune Arts. Look at that metal logo. Are you serious? I want that tattooed on my truck. <laughs> on my van. And cool. airbrushed on my arm. Oh, yeah. It's like some demo scene. Whoa. I want a rollerblade with this music blasting every like, day. Like neon rollerblades? Like the magenta and dark blue yeah, like color scheme, you know, the rollerblade rollerblades that had... Rollerblade brand rollerblades. True. And you have like little Daisy Dukes on. I always have those on, look. But no, I have skinny jeans now. Skinny dad jeans, they're like elastic, like mom jeans. <laughs> What's that? Parental jeans. Good parental jeans. Man, that looks so good. Uh, it's really... I'm kind of embarrassed, actually. It'll be all right. What? What do you mean? Why so? Uh, we can... I, we can build so much at, modular stuff out of these pieces. I look at modern 3D pieces. art, and I think about how far that stuff has come, and like... Yeah, but think about the shaders we can put all over oh, this yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. can get it looking, like, super distressed looking, and or, like, crystalline Tron stuff. We can build walls and ceilings out of that, just that part alone, you know, Greeble stuff. Yeah, that's just cool. Just fake the, fake the complexity, right? You know, yeah. and you'll see it at a distance and you'll see like lasers and singing robot girls at the same time. It's going to be like overwhelmingly amazing. And this is just one minor detail. Yeah. So just that looks awesome. And you could probably like, you could probably just project UVs onto that and make some awesome ass texture, you know, mapping for it, you know? No, no, that, that sounds you, dope. I want to see how good the AO was. And also, I wanted to see You're gonna do, if um, work in this other program. What is that? So this is Sculptress. It's like crazy Ooh, ZBrush. It looks like a plumbus. Oh, Sculptress, yeah. It's like the. Yeah. It's ZBrush training wheels. Well, ZBrush, if you are so inclined. 
Um, but it's a little bit more difficult to use. I apologize for my crude Americanisms. Like Z instead of Z. Right. I, guess I, I like Z. Uh, like it sounds like way Z. more sci-fi. Yeah. It's cool. I think Z is superior, but I'm not going to be so affected as to say it in daily life. ZX Spectrum. I'm like, oh, I'll have from A to Z. And it's like, who are you? What are you? Who are you again? Fucking Canadian, Canadian or something? Sorry. I didn't even remember what I was doing with this thing. Well, you got like a giant lathe bottle that looks like some kind of lamp that you'd have in like a. It was like the UV thing that the dentist uses to like cure your whatever brace, you know? Yeah. They put that robot arm that's got the UV whatever laser in there. They give you sunglasses and like they give your mouth like a little single sunglass. Or the x-ray that like, you know, they put in you if they need to. Does that exist or did I just dream about that? I'm not sure. The x-ray they can put in you? You know, because it's like shaped like that. All right, I'm. Yeah, that was a cool dream, though. <laughs> That's the that the fight defeats the purpose of an X-ray, right? Because X-ray is supposed to be non-intrusive. Yeah, but right? maybe they could get around bones that would otherwise obscure, like right under a bone. Oh. Uh, they they put the reflectors your... in your mouth, right? Uh, when you get your teeth X-rayed. That's right. It has they to do. bounce off of the inside of that thing. Otherwise, you can see through the entire head, right? And you can't tell what side. Oh. Because that's like you know, X-rays. X-rays are awesome, dude. Yeah. Super. Have you seen? There's this TV show I was waiting to called The Nick, right? And it like it's supposed to be portrayed around the time of like early surgical like technology. Um, and the X-ray like is invented in like during the course of the show. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And so it's like a huge investment for the hospital because it's like 19, you know, 12 or something like that. And, yeah. Uh, they are like all take turns. Like, hey, can I get mine done right? And they all just, you know, it's like. They have no concept of like if it's dangerous and like we have all these yeah they're just curious right. yeah and so it's like oh let me you know put my face in this thing and it like returns this you know reflected plate of you know, it's skull like pits of skull oh, that's that's me right like how cool is that to be novel I don't think people have really had their minds blown since like smartphones were coming around the corner like not even personal digital assistants but like what are you working 2005, on right now? 2006. What are you working on right now? You remember being in this thing? What? VR is pretty cool too at AR when it comes out. Yeah. That's gonna. That's like. Yeah. It's already mind blowing to us working on it. We just gotta convince the, you know, consumer audience. That they want little tiny people on their on their chairs and desks. Right. That's true. Well, or their girlfriend and their boyfriend sitting next to them on the couch from like their wa states their away. Their wafu. Well, real one that's just telepresence, you know? That's kind of that's, that's kind of creepy, with... man. No, what if you can't see your honey for a minute? And you want you want to have Bay on your couch next to you. So you just like AR in. And your honey. They're right there and you can just like go uh, and like pretend that you're actually kissing or whatever. That's romantic and cute. Come on, who's with me on that one? Man, I would do that if I had to be away from, from uh, a special someone for like a long period of time. I totally want to AR them into my neck, into the love seat next to me, and just be like, "Hey, me. I mean, okay. How much data do you, do you need to stream in order to replicate a person? And does that person have to be there if you can make that data? Can you amplify things you don't like about that person's physical appearance when they come? Oh, you can tweak them with I shape morphs and make them into like an elf or something. Like Cortana. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you're a blue hologram now, and you're a Twi'lek. No 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 no. I'm not okay with that. That's a little bit. Like, if you can turn your SO into... You kind of look like that midget from Willow now. You don't have to call them Stallion. You can, like, literally make them one. You're like, oh, baby, I, <laughs> I love you. Wow. You like, it, like, actually... What's been on your mind, Jake? Face rig, honestly. Face rig? I want rig? to do some really good comedic me uh, mischief with face rig. It's really fun. You can make yourself Whoa. into an anime, like, really. For real. And it's, like, it's way past it to do that on Switch. But like, I want to use something like that technology to capture my performance. Oh, that's not bad. And have it next to me while I'm doing other stuff. What was this duct tape out here? Oh, uh, we were having some fun before. Yeah. Who's Things got out of control. Up? We had to back off. Let's go. I. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. I'm losing track. I'm trying to keep up. I know. This is. I mean, we're. This music hypes me up. Sorry. This is like one of my heroes here. Well, that's I'm, I'm, I want to know about that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's super cool. Yeah, but it gets me like all. Oh. It, 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 it goes dark. It goes too. It goes too 
A very primordial place, right? Yeah. This, this guy is one of the reasons I got into guitar based and like metal remixes of game music. Like I did game remixes before, but I really started getting serious about the like guitar playing side of things when I was here. In I believe he's also on the Retro really City good. Rampage soundtrack. Right? Yeah, with, he's all over it. With you guys. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's done a lot of stuff uh, for Dwelling of Duels. Yeah, that's where I first heard of him. Like between him and you, you were my like first like guitar god look up to you like wow how can they play that awesome like what the fuck oh, yeah. I can't believe they're that badass at guitar like oh, sorry. no no as you say as you said at like MAGFest that, I think you might like try to punch me or something <laughs> you said at MAGFest that me and Alshon were the best guitar players within a three mile radius <laughs> yeah I said all kinds of grandiose <laughs> manic stuff like that this is a great thing I, I was think. like this guy graduated from Berkeley and, and Jason's like <laughs> Yeah. Really. I didn't Jason graduate. didn't graduate from Berkeley. He dropped out two I weeks before he was supposed to graduate right, I, I to I get a job because it was such a hard thing to get a job in that industry. Yeah, he just knocked it out like right. Yeah. With pity sing, they were gonna this pop I was, group. I was a master of cringeworthy pre-show speeches until Brendan came along and just like outdid me by a million. million. <laughs> but he knows it and loves it and saves up to forty. Because it gives him fame. No, he just doesn't care. He's just like, I have fun up there and everyone likes me. That's and a I'm good like, attitude. Right. He actually does and everyone likes him. He's endearing enough to not be annoying or cringy. I'm slightly too cocky to be that endearing, so... Matt Creamer. Everyone just is like, man, this guy is so awkward. And not like... <laughs> <awkward. laughs> I'm sorry, that is that name. That name, though. Yeah. All Matt's better watch we, out. We need... Have you guys ever... Uh, a Del video game music prodigy in the scene hauling all coffees if we have wait creamer and coffin that almost sounds like that sounds like a like a, a super group it sounds like a bagel shop coffin creamer coffin and creamer uh, like a jewish deli we must it's preordained we must do a collaboration at some point i mean that's 13 <laughs> subjects in 20 minutes Yo, i've been locking my elbow <laughs> for like 20 minutes here and like it's never <laughs> moving again <laughs> <laughs> oh no, here we go. This is the stuff that when we used to we used to randomly talk about everything all the time. Yeah, this is just how we roll. I think it's more intensified now though than it was before. Well, yeah, cause it was now, much more simpler back then. Cause now I'm all hyperactive and like all bouncing up and down the walls and stuff, and, and yeah. you are still too. But now I'm like feeding yeah. back into your. Energy Feedback loop. loop. Yeah, where I used to be just like, whatever, Dan, you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah. I love it, Dan. And so now I'm just like, yeah, bro, let's go jump off cliffs. <laughs> jump off cliffs. Yeah. Pretty good. It's the last word that you'll say. I love this song. I love all these songs. I love it's very like, humor. it's very like final, almost final boss-ish. Yeah, but that's, he keeps up that feeling continuously, so it's like you're fighting a final boss that's like a giant epic journey final boss battle that's just got 25 different Yeah, parts. yeah, definitely, you're yeah, right. Like, yeah, it's got that three composed feeling, so it's... It's got that sense of urgency. It's consistently amazing in brand new ways all the time. Like, where did that come from? Yeah. But I that, was like, that was like the cry of the dragon when you shot him. Yeah, you all had some reverby echoey effects. <laughs> <laughs> and you have like the techno robot dragon come by. This is a very epic battle. Yeah. Sounding. This part's pretty cool. <laughs> and that double bass, yeah, that Mike Port noise. <laughs> Yeah, Norrin will go every decadent place I'll go and then some. Especially when he starts doing black metal and singing and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of oh, black yeah. metal, like, Dying Fetus came out with a new album. Cool. And, yeah, like, Is it a good? Of, it's a Dying Fetus. Their I same mean, album they've been writing for, like, the last ten years. But they didn't, do, they didn't like, switch genres to be on, like, our commercial or something? No, sir. Hey. Wait. Was, if that wasn't perceived as an unintentional slur against, like, 
Any pop band, I apologize. <laughs> oh, we were talking about Nurin before yeah. and how it rhymes with a particular word and how maybe ah, so you should put that into the equation. Oh, Urin? That's like the mod modable interface. The modding <laughs> interface is Urin. No, like this, this stuff. That, this <laughs> it's <fits> easy. <laughs> it's fits easy. You're never going to have a problem. To give it a poke face. We'll always pee here to support poke you. Poke face. Ow. Ow. What the hell am I doing? Yo, uh, yo, yo. You alright? You need a chair or something? You want to sit down here? No, I just need to find a posture that's anatomically, like, suitable for me. Cause wanna, I don't, you want to sit in the chair? Not really. I kind of like it down here so I can just razz you as, like, a Muppet or something. Just kind of... Okay. Just slung over the side of your chair. Just be like, oh, yeah. That's what Jeet said. That's what... <laughs> no. Guys, I reinvented that's what she said. I don't like that's what she said. I don't like that's what he said. I don't like that's what we said. It's old. It's done. You know, yeah. it's whatever. So instead, you just say, comma, baby. Or just baby. I don't know. I Anything. Feel. It's like in bed after fortune cookie. You're just like, man, I like those speakers, baby. Anything can write instead of that's what gender said. Or plural. I don't know. Group. I don't think it has the same it factor. If you, you wiggle your eyebrows and you say it, it, it baby. It's all in the that's delivery. A, yeah, that's Come better. Up, baby. Yeah, like, know? hey, I'm going to go brush my teeth before we go to bed, baby. Baby. I got to go walk the dog. Baby. I got to go pick up the dog's poop, baby. Oh, gross, Dan. You always have to make it all jammed. I have to drop some low main in the backyard, baby. If you guys don't know the story that yesterday... Find the low main. Yesterday, they put low main out in the yard to distract the dog. We had Chinese dog. leftovers, and we threw it out for Nugget to distract him for like an hour. <laughs> and called it, called it Find the Low Main. What is this? Oh my gosh. It was just a little bit. We're not like trying to feed him no, too often. But, but it was leftovers. It was not. It was going to get thrown away. So It's a good way to give him activity and eat. Instead of lunch, we yeah. gave him a Chinese buffet treat. And he was like, he was like really pleased. And he laid down in the grass, rolled in it. It was... It was a fun afternoon for everyone. Yeah, it was really, really productive. Yeah. I dreamed that I was like... I was sleeping on a couch in a Chinese restaurant that had been there for like 20 years and it was just me with my face in nugget. Ah. It smelled like Chinese food. That's, that's funny how smells can like trigger a dream. Dog, you know, you know? It's been sitting there for like, yeah, it's a cigarette. I don't even know where he gets. It's just gross. The general grossness and stuff the from Nugget. Nugget is pretty gross. Yeah, he's, but he's a lovable gross. He's, yeah, lovable kind of gross, kind of sloppy gross. Like he's himself, Turner and that's and the best part. Gross, you know? Yeah. He is. Well, he, he is what and who he is. Exactly, and, and he doesn't try to be anything else. And that thing is a gourmet, a gourmand, a glutton. Yeah. He just wants to snack and eat. He loves him. He eat. he does love eating. Mm. He's a Jewish puppy. He loves food. Right, what do you want? What do you want? He should be disinterested. He should sit over at his the special dog table at a his little at a little face off and not eat anything. His he's little eat. He's <laughs> boy, Daniel. He's only nine years old. His little puppy paw crushing the wine glass. Mazel tov. Hey, he's not marrying anyone like at this. this? Point. He's like been, someone's uh, forcing his hand down like this. Hey, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Nugget. Nugget. Nugget starts sniffing the broken glass. You just see his paw going, <laughs> the, the bride's leg going towards the garter. Oh, okay, this went places. It's just got 4chan on me, man. I love this song, though. <laughs> this, um, this has been super surreal, you guys. Surreal. As always. Twin, Peak <laughs> up, Twin Peaks. Mode po bad, min potion version. We're in like a Twin Peaks sitcom of some sort. That that describes my life pretty well, actually. Um, that was a weird squeal, man. Whoa! It's like time's running out. It's like continue. Dude, Ninja Gaiden on the arcade. You ever played Ninja Gaiden in the arcade? It's a completely. With the saw blade is and it's coming down on his it? chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah like this. Like, no, no. It, isn't I had nightmares about it continuing. Yeah, me too. I, think, I can't. I think a lot of arcade goers did. They were like, what happens if it keeps going through his chest? It's going to slice right through him, dude. Oh my god. What, what if they showed that in like in the Japanese version that's like uncensored? And they just cut it out for the American version? 
Like, that was me at age. Oh, really? Yeah, because you're yeah. just like, did you take your dumb? Just go away. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yo, that looks awesome. I don't know F what that is, but I want to hook it up to an electrical supply and find out. I don't know what it is either. I'm just making face. Because I want stuff to be in the windows of that design that Ooh. aren't there. You know? Yeah, man. Just make a bunch of greeble cool stuff. It doesn't have to look like anything. We'll just light up parts of it and make it shine. Oh, oh man. It looks like an X-Wing. Yeah, it kind of looks like, like one of those Diablo things that you kind of spin two sticks in here. Like the... And whatever. Circus. It's stuff you'd have to go to Jewish summer camp to understand, Daniel. Yeah, not Jewish. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> Oi. We can't all be perfect. <laughs> like... <laughs> Looks like some kind of bi-directional turbine. Hey, hey Robbie, what up? That's a good cosby. Same. This song's dope. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. That guitar tone is amazing. This vibrato. Oh. Wing. The tritone. <laughs> Reminds me of Venice so much. Ah, these harmonies are, and chord changes and, mo and modulations are just so uh, uh, creative. Uh, so tasty. Uh, uh. It's like a like a candy treat. It's so I know what I'm doing. And I'm not gonna do it all the time, but when I do, it's gonna, gonna be know. awesome. You're yeah. gonna know. He's like, here's what I, here's what I can do. And it's like, oh, okay, but also, just do the solid song right in here. This could go for. Like, I could see this in a Sunsoft game, like Journey to Silius 2. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. You know that was a Terminator game, they reskinned it because they uh -huh. lost the license. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Just the whole way these, these games come to be. I know. Like, so oh man, really? <laughs> they did the Superman so game on Genesis. Oh, shit. Right. They did the Batman game on Genesis and Super Nintendo and TG16. Yeah. That looks cool. And I think they had this, the Superman license, but they lost it for the Nintendo game as well. Oh, I heard about that. And there's a game called Sun something. Sun Manor, I forget. They reskinned it wow. again. But we, it's not as much, not as known as uh, Journey to Silius. Silius. Hey, Don't be so Silius. Mess up this thing together three times. But like, I, I really like where you're going with the, with the guide of the game, game reverse. Yeah. Kick it for a minute. I'm it's all out. interconnected, man. And Six degrees. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I'll be right back. But yeah, this is Tower Block. I, w I wasn't yeah, in the is. stream, but this seems like fun. So I'm oh, like, it's mad fun. Forget about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to end the stream so I can eat like two or three more tacos. Also smart. <laughs> yeah. Because I right. get a lot of bills. Live stream tacos. I literally yeah. have bills to pay today. I'm not trying to be like all oh, just, meta uh, about yeah, yeah. stuff I got to do. I literally have to go log into my billing account for like electricity and like go pay it and it's like so what are you waiting for, for? auto pay because i had it set up for auto pay and it stopped working now i not only have to inquire on why then it why? stops working every couple months when the, like, my credit card info doesn't change but, yeah like, it's just oh. like oh your bill is due and I, like, I set it up so i have to do this every month or five you know just like go in and I could be like, is there something weird about my account? Like, am I getting flagged for terrorism? Yeah. Am I like on a no auto bill list due no. to my extremist Before musicology we... views? I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? I want to show you that guy that I was talking to you earlier, Anthony Fantano on YouTube. Oh, hey. He looks just like Vert. 
and he oh, has, and he has. He's got, the, he's got the crazy eyes too, just like me. Cool. And and he does the music. He's dead, but like totally intense eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Same as me. <laughs> I recognize one of my type when I see them. And he's Welcome, friend. I love you. Yeah. And we'll have good times. I'll have good times watching your your content. Yeah, watch his content. It's pretty pretty yeah. good. I get along with guys like that because we're all just like super intense, but like. He's got a good sense of humor. Yeah, if we we can laugh about it and at ourselves. It's, yeah. That's the cool part of this stuff. It's an important part hey. of the stuff, right? You gotta have the sense of humor. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. You see the happiest people on earth just Vi laughing it up. That's why he's perfect for video game soundtracks, because he has that fun factor into you it, laugh. where you don't you take yourself too seriously. If you take yourself too seriously, man, it's you not just fun take anymore. Too seriously. Like, yeah. Circular logic, but it always it makes sense, right? It's just like whatever. You seriously, for you gotta take yourself seriously sometimes, but in the right ways. It's like when a comedian musician goes and plays a really sensitive piece. It's Ooh. like, wow, I didn't know they could do that, but holy crap. You know, like, or when Jim Carrey plays a serious role, you know? Yeah. Like, in order, to do, in order to understand comedy, you have to understand drama first and be like, drama? There's plenty of people doing drama. Oh, yeah. I gotta go a step ahead and make people laugh again because they're all crying after the darn drama. So then you get, like, if you can, but you can still do serious stuff to sort of, Tug the heart springs for a second, right between tickles, you know? Uh, ten tickles. <laughs> ten tickles! Alright, enjoy my disembodied... It looks like my head is exploding at the top. That's how I feel inside. It's like everywhere. Herman's head. Oh, wait, now I'm just empty. Or brain games. I'm like, you don't know Jake. And there's like a swivel on my head. Yeah, that too, yeah. Yeah. I feel like... It's like anything can be a hat. Yeah, I can wear the entire stream as a hat, or, or as you glasses. You can have Discord as a hat. Or as a head. Wait, put some emoji on me, dog. Get some emoji on my... Put a head on me, Ben. I got this. Please put a, bed on, a head on me. Hold on, give oh, him a Oh, crap, that's a great idea. I've been saying it for, like, years. Hold on. Put a Did head you know on this me, Ben. Dude, give him some head. Ben. <laughs> Give me an anime lady or a man. Like it's right here. Dog, Look, give him some head. Wait, where's like? Can you put? Dinner Sonic's delicious. Oh, it almost fits. Oh, this I'm track also is mildly, dope. mildly like polka dot blue screen, so you could put me in front of like some neon or something, and it would be like I just got shot by the world's most precise sniper, 182 times. <laughs> I feel like a grid of red dots. What and am I looking for? You said something neon? Like mono neon? Double dragon neon. Oh. I don't know. Like this guy, right? Yeah. Get a good headshot. Headshot. Why, why you gotta keep three sizing? Okay. It's weird. What happens if he's playing in a really hot area? Oh, he's got a sweatshirt on. It's got a, you know... You and he's got a sock on his headstock. He's got a good theme. <laughs> you look like a ninja. He also has like a... Like a Kermit looking thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm over again, I wear the... The weird Win Kermit hat. The Windows resize editor is just not my thing. Can I be his entire torso? Please, come on. Oh, right. it's like it where it starts. His oh man, that's it's creepy. It's coming out of my neck. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's pretty good. Oh, whoa, no! Somebody call me a witch doctor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. I'm creeped That's out. That's weird. I, it's I like Beetlejuice, where they shrink the head at the end of the movie. I'm creeped out. I feel just normally every day, just always. Look at him. He's like, I'm playing bass, yo. You can do like this kind of interview. This is the perfect music to do that to. You're so wiggly. Is this okay? I do want to check out Shakedown Hawaii. Um, no. 
No? Is that supposed to be like Hotline Miami? I think it's supposed to be like Retro City Rampage. Oh, wait, that's his second game. This is the new game that's coming out. Yeah. He already released the uh, Retro City Rampage on the Switch recently. I heard it had some problems, though, unfortunately. Okay. Some slowdown issues, frames per second. But I heard he's fixing it because he has the fucking game for 486 you can buy it for. <laughs> I mean, he has it on almost every platform, right? Yeah. I mean, I've never, ever, I know better than to ever doubt. He's amazing, like 486. He <laughs> made on one disc. Yeah, that's a dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> That's all I know how to do. What? Predatory auto loans. <laughs> what a business. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Alright, later. Alright, Jake. Take care, man. That was the special guest director of Neuro. Yeah, Bullshit. Really? Oh. <laughs> the animation looks much more uh, brighter than Metro City. I mean, because it has the Miami theme. <laughs> Oh, and the palette that's all grown up and slightly more dense. It looks really good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Meat house gym. <laughs> 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 that's great. Oh, he must have a uh, deal with play um with Sony because it's only PlayStation 4 and Vita. Because uh, Tim Schafer, the guy who developed Psychonauts yeah, and yeah. the old LucasArts games, he has a deal with Sony too. So whenever a game is released, it usually comes out first on Sony's platform, like Grim, Dan ah. Grim, Grim Fandango Remastered. Then a couple of months later, it comes out for iOS or uh, PC. Yeah. He just finished a uh, series, another Amnesia Fortnite, which is sort of like their two-week oh, right, right. game jam site type of thing. Um, and two player productions filmed it and I think it's being released soon. So I'm looking forward to watch that documentary. That's a great that that's a great idea. I'm yeah. Glad someone did that. Yeah. I've heard I've heard of Ninja Fortnite a lot. It's a smart thing to do, especially when you're in the same project for a long period of time. Yeah. And, and like you're tied to it, right? Like you're like, no, this is we're we're all going with this together. This is it's when it's serious, not just like a hobby, right? Yeah, no that's doubt. Like, it refreshes everybody, I think. It's good. It's good. Why aren't we doing that? The, uh, it's not easy to do it. I, I think, think it's like Amnesia every night sometimes, you know? Yeah, and there's a game that came out of, I think, the one before that. The fourth night, fourth night Amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> or your whatever. Um, called Headlander. So okay. it was oh the yeah, night. Right. Uh, what was his name? I forget his name. Something Perry. He's an art director at Double Fine. He had that was his first, I think, game in a while that he was a director on. You know, okay. it's basically you're a flying head, and yeah, you really yeah. just attach on other bodies, and it's a pretty fun retro '70s look, like you know VCR tape like effects and that Atari wood grain kind okay. of feel. I've seen it, but haven't played it. Like, I was a big, a big recent Tim Schafer. Yeah. Like after Psychonauts. But I didn't realize how important it was before with <laughs> uh, with adventure games in general. Yeah. Until like that that education came away later. But like I'm inspired by that work very much. Because it's very like uh, organic. It's the person that wrote it. You know, like it has their personality imbued into it. Tim Schafer's like like shit's just really like funny. Like it's hard to do that in games. It's hard to be funny in games so serious yeah everyone's so serious and it's violence and Grim Fandango is just so creative as an, a game as a piece of art yeah 
I couldn't appreciate 98 when I first played it, but I enjoyed playing it for the story. But now as I'm older, I realize that the way they take two art styles and they put it together, Day of the Dead, sort of skeletal, skeletal style, mm. and then the art deco, which kind of like opens up the, the possibilities of this world with the building structure. It's really cool, man. Full throttle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Peter Chan, right? I think he does a lot of the con conceptual work on how the game overall game will look. Hmm. Oh, and uh, I have to end the stream. But thank you so much. Oh, thank for you. Hanging out. Chat, you guys have been great. Yeah. Hang out with Rosax on the internet. <laughs> the internet. We're mostly there. And uh, thanks for the music. Word.